All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've been waiting for this. Eric Voss is finally here with Loki episode five breakdown. That was the most insane episode that we've had. I feel like I say that every time, but like Marvel, Disney, they do this thing where every episode just gets better and better. So I'm hoping the finale is by far the best episode, but who knows? I don't know how they can top this one. I say that every week though, and then they top it the next week. So who knows? This is a 20 minute breakdown by Eric Voss here on new rock stars. Go subscribe to them. Their first link in the description. He's going to break down the Easter eggs for us. We do this every week. Excited to see what's hidden in this episode because I already know Twitter was going crazy. There's a lot of things hidden. There's a Throg, there's a Thanos helicopter, there's a giant wasp helmet. So much stuff. Here we go. Let's hop into this breakdown. Stars, I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of Loki episode five, Journey into Mystery. Of course, a non-original comic run that introduced oh, Loki it's... and Thor, fitting for an episode filled with I didn't know that actually. Comics, but also enough hatches, Egyptian icons, and smoke monsters so to much. Me from the series so that much got stuff. Into this kind of stuff, lost. Which lost. Hopefully, Loki will do better. That's what I said. Expectation management. <laughs> That's my favorite. Lost is. The... <laughs> hey, let's break down this episode. <laughs> lost is the best. For all the interesting. Definitely my number details. one show of all time got a lot of them hey and a reminder that you can get our Loki inspired merch at new rockstars merch oh it's a little gator like jeez they make this merch shirt. really quick directly support us here <laughs> at new rockstars we open on the tva timeline screen with location showing vormir the planet that held the soul stone and video mm -hmm. in game seoul south korea zimbabwe and oak island <laughs> zimbabwe Nova Scotia. maybe a nod of the oak island treasure the theorized knights templar treasure believed to be buried on oak island that people think might contain the holy grail the ark of the covenant shakespeare oh and there was a little like a little boat not the big down, ship but the little there's a little wooden boat a monitor room back wall just dissolves into the timekeeper elevator doors which mm. then dissolve into their chamber where we now this was a weird shot to start on so the frame rotates counterclockwise toward the severed timekeeper android head a true journey into mystery this opening shot is reflecting how each yeah. of these settings have I wonder why they started like that smoke screens for some deeper truth beyond them much like how the final shot of this episode is yet another Another literal smoke screen yeah it is going back to reveal some other truth beyond but even that might contain another he guessed this whole thing last episode later so the series oh. keeps focusing on that one central timekeeper this, more than the other I'm, I may be looking into it, but was he zooming in on something that looked like Kang? There was like a space outline that looked like we Kang. We the Void, the TVA's supposed dumping ground. We pass the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Now, this History. This also contains the Pyramids of Giza, another yep. ancient wonder. And with the Hanging Gardens Binks. of Babylon showing up in Eternals, that makes three out of seven wonders in the MCU this year. This lighthouse oh. also the lit tower. Looks like Shang's Chi. He's also going to have some shot and trailer some wonders of the world in it. Has a library inside it, perhaps another source of yeah. So this is what we're seeing next, next episode. Is Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum. I would not want to live in a reality. Oh, there it is. Those guys pruned from it. Maybe there was some past conflict between the Sorcerer Supreme and the TVA over who really should monitor the multiverse. Now, as we pass Avengers Tower, we realize written on it is not Avengers or A or Stark, but oh, yeah. Kang, as in Kang Enterprises, the company oh. Tony Stark sold this tower to in the comics. It's run by Mr. Gryphon, revealed to be Kang the Conqueror. The latest clue that Kang oh, could be Oh, that, that's a huge clue. The left is another building. <laughs> if you look closely at the top of it, it's labeled Ken Park 2018, it looks like, suggesting hmm. this whole void could be made up of pieces of histories that Kang has conquered, similar to his kingdom of Chronopolis. That's so the weird. It would be right after the snap, which could be when Kang Enterprises moved into that tower. Notice how trotting around on the okay, uh, the indigo Yeah, those things, things are weird. Weird. Spherical heads that hover over their bases, base the chickens all over the void. No clue what these are, but this episode was written by <laughs> okay, that's good. writer Tom Kaufman, who wrote the season three Fruity Land. Eric clone doesn't know everything. With a similarly bonkers pocket reality filled with goofy creatures and an immature exile who crowns himself king. And then finally, some answers. What is this place? Where are we? Who are you? Is it the void? That's a liar. 
Come on. Eliath is a trans temporal entity from the Marvel comics who takes the oh. form of this kind of carnivorous smoke. He rivals the time empire of Kang the Conqueror, and Kang uses the it, it's of Kang. to trap Eliath in eternal battle so that Kang can expand his rule. Yeah, and okay, well, they gave it away also then. Part of this 1993 storyline. <laughs> so I'm wondering if in this case, Kang may be using Eliath as a guard dog as he works behind him to assemble his kingdom. Renslayer mm -hmm. explains, when we prove Kang's so weird. Why does he want to be here? In the void. Basically, the branch timeline isn't reset. It's transferred to a, a void at the end of time. Uh, yeah, Renslayer is appealing to the law of conservation of mass that says matter can neither be destroyed nor created, only transferred. Not that the laws of physics really matter that much on the show. But Renslayer yeah. <laughs> claims to not know who created the TVA, and based on her later I believe her. 15, she I don't think she knows. Be a memory wiped variant, same as the rest of them. But this being Renslayer, the primary love interest in the comics to Kang, I wonder if she could be a teacher or an admin from that FDR high school that caught the eye of mm -hmm. Nathaniel Richards, maybe even a teacher that he had a crush on, and once he grew up to be Kang, he went back in time to trap whoa, her whoa, in whoa, whoa. So much. temporal law office so that she would catch the bullies and class clowns who threaten his utopia. Back in the Void is a three-masted maybe. wooden <laughs> ship with light boats on the <laughs> deck. This could be the same as a student of hers. Flagship that mm, I don't know. Off the coast of present-day Haiti sunk and its wreckage was never recovered. They passed this huge oh, okay, so that boat was explained. Another aerial phenomenon that could have just been spotted on Earth. And I thought that was like a shield. Looks like Red Skull's spinning. It could be a shield too, but America film, which was based on the real life German folk wolf tribe of Hugo. Yeah, they got everything in this World War II. And then this row of giant bald head statues, partially buried in the ground, kind of looks like the big head sculpture in Canmore in Alberta, Canada, the home mm -hmm. province of that son of a bitch, James <laughs> Hallett, aka Logan, aka Wolverine. Who'd you think I was gonna say? Go fuck yourself. So these Loki variants are classic Loki, Richard E. Grant, dressed in Loki's classic. Classic attire from the early rest comics. in peace Boastful Loki whose clothes look like the dark rain era of Loki maybe he rest in peace him too I don't know if he died a piece of a train rail kid Loki, he's just gone Loki I wish kid Loki was in it more sword from Norse mythology and alligator Loki and Loki asks them but if you thought of using a tempad oh the one thing that could easily get us out of here yes they're all over the place right guys <laughs> <laughs> fine uh Loki gator blinks as gators do side by side, but it plays like an eye roll here. I love it. And they pass a big pile of lunch. <laughs> I didn't trains, even notice that. Which must be ones from the TBA cafeteria. Like rather than cleaning and reusing them, they just prune them all. So wasteful. And you know these are from the TBA because among that pile are also boxes of Boku fruit. That is a lot. And by the way, losing your hair can be a bummer. Two out of three guys will experience oh, some form an of ad. pattern ball. Perhaps Kindle Thor died when that trick that Thor mentioned in Ragnarok led him to bleed out. This one time when we were children, he he transformed into yeah, a snake and he knows how to love snakes so i went to pick up the snake to admire it and he transformed back into himself and he was like yeah it's me then he stopped <laughs> we were eight at the time then there is that's not the get help never mind man villain yellow jacket oh yeah i wasn't a wasp on his yellow jacket shaking him down to nothing but perhaps still alive somewhere in the quantum realm this recalls the shocking imagery of ant-man's giant corpse strewn across the oh. apocalyptic landscape and old man logan and then yes oh my the gosh Thanos copter i did not know that was a thing it's toy pushing moments from marvel yeah Comics. Thanos. that's so dumb <laughs> who created the Thanos short, copter now presumably pruned from some alternate timeline though this could mean some alternate timeline Thanos was pruned here and then maybe consumed by Eliath? There's also a huge True. warhead, maybe some stolen nuke that, were it not pruned, would have started a global nuclear war. And then they enter this hatch that we get a better look of later with text written on it in Hindi. In the circle, oh, no. that translates Eric. to A. And then they a. get written on the right, Pravesh Dwar. It's like the lost door. hatch. And then the green on the left, I'm telling you. Sabdahan, Vishela, careful, poisonous. So maybe this is a hatch for an Indian nuclear facility or their nuclear submarine. The yeah, there's a nuke right outside of it, so. And then a great floorboard gag sinking down to show. Think that's all related underneath more lunch trays and silverware a lunch who's going around trying to get to it <laughs> who's going around in a jar marked three in lunches not to throg in thor comic issue yes the rog hear him with toadin himself against the glass just like how thor did in his cell in the first avengers we need a whole what if about this this man right here throg 
Oh yeah, he is like that. Customized bowling alley looks like circus lanes written on the back wall there. Kid Loki has made a throne out of what looks like a Santa land from a mall. Or did Santa get pruned too? There's a space oh, no. fishing pinball well, game. And maybe there's a universe where he's real. Who knows? Box. This was an urban legend from the Portland area in the 80s and 90s that claimed the government could have rigged games called Polybius. I did hear about this. And mind control uses. <laughs> Renslayer and Miss Minutes work together to try to stall Sylvie. Find Loki. Find the man behind the curtain. And kill him. Yes, the man behind the curtain, of course, a direct nod to the Wizard yes. of Oz, which this TDA mystery creator is clearly based on. But the way Miss Minutes picks up these nonverbal cues from Renslayer is just another reason to think something more will be revealed about this character. But back in the bowling alley, they listen to Maybe that could have been the end of Miss Minutes, though. Cover of Wonderwall, an intentionally hokey cover of that annoyingly sincere song by Oasis that, like, that one asshole at the party in college who brought his guitar has to play. They drink Roxy wine. R-O-X-X -X probably got it from Rock's cart. Classic oh, Loki true. and Loki both have huge chalices. And rocks on energy. One. Kid Loki sips high C ecto cooler. Between them, there's a campfire of charred <laughs> bowling pins. And beside alligator Loki is a book, The Mystery and Lore of Monsters by C.J.S. Thompson, a rare 1930s survey of human deformities and monster lore. Alligator Loki calls bullshit on boastful Loki's tale of defeating Cap. And then Iron bites him. Infinity Stones. Well, at least my Nexus event was eating the wrong neighbor's cat alligator loki goes right <laughs> no, what? End, just i like still kind of want to believe that's not even a loki variant because that's what mobius was saying and they're, they're just like he's green though of myself so real even the mad titan believed it then yeah, why does he point? The mad this thing. is crazy. The writers apparently worked into classic Loki's backstory a fan theory that channels like that you. ours discussed yep. back in 2018. That during Loki's death scene in Infinity War, a floating piece of debris in the background looked like Loki with his big curved horns, making us think that Loki might have faked his death at the time. A theory and it's canon now. was forced to apologize for. I just look <laughs> forward to the 2024 Ghost Rider movie where Mephisto says Agatha's Ooh. Devils in the Details comeback was a reference to him. Classic Loki says he Dude, Ghost Rider is going to be sick. Patch and stay there in isolation, in solitude, for a long, long time. Yeah, he says he got lonely and tried to leave, and then he got arrested. All the Lokis are lonely. His lonely planet could have been Vormir, referenced earlier this episode, but also back in episode two, where the screen listed a next Maybe. on Vormir in the year 2301 which would have been hundreds of years after that moment with Thanos. True. But I do have another theory on this guy. Just more on him later. They meet a new Loki gang led by President mm. Loki, who's a reference to the 2016 Boat Loki miniseries in which Loki runs for president, pledging that he's not afraid to lie to people. But then there's this other bearded one, who was the same one who was labeled very With the dreads. <laughs> back in episode two, oh yeah, the that's where I saw him from. Silverware, one has handlebars. Lunch trays, and then another with a helmet with a bike handlebar. So oh, down. Who herself <laughs> earlier, awakens on a school bus and enchants a branch of Eliath getting a quick vision of what it's guarding. Mm -hmm. The rock ring suspended at the end of time that I pointed out in trailer footage with a castle and a lit tower. Now this castle does look a bit like a darker version of Neuschwanstein in Germany, which is an inspiration to many fantasy castles. Mobius drives up in a pizza car to save her. Notice how the plate number is GRNW1D, so maybe like Grunwald, maybe a nod to Mark Grunwald, the Marvel Comics writer of many of these influencing oh, titles. Probably in actually. Comics, the TVA staff was all designed Designed to look like specifically Mobius. He actually yeah, that's definitely yeah. That's definitely an Easter egg. Show. Behind them is a suspension bridge that looks like a cross between the towers of San Francisco's two major bridges, both Golden Gate Bridge and Oakland Bay Bridge. And then there's also a sign for Wrightville Theater, screening the movie Oswald and the Martian. Now a different, similar town, Wrightsville, Pennsylvania, showed up in the Nexus event in 1832. But this movie might be referring to Mars, a 1930 short animated by Oswald and the Martian, Universal, starring Oswald the Rat. It. Mobius drives past the pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx, but notice the Sphinx has not lost its nose. Perhaps that's why it was pruned, because it was supposed to lose it. And yes, a reminder, oh. <laughs> the pyramids Sphinx do show that's actually probably why. King's Chronopolis, if that ends up being the case. But to the right is a structure that before I thought was Stonehenge, but in this clear footage, I don't think it's Stonehenge. It doesn't look like it. Columns to it. So I don't know, maybe some ancient Greek structure, maybe the White House after it was burned down in 1812. I don't know, oh. I've been going on a historical kick while I'm watching this show. The Loki's all bicker. You let the wolves to our door. We prefer snakes to wolves. I've eaten them both. They die just the same. Snakes and wolves could be nods to Jormungandr, the great snake. Jormungandr? Dude, I play as Fenrir? Play as him in Smite. 
offspring in Norse mythology. Alligator Loki bites off President Loki's hand, causing him to let out a very long scream. Yeah, perfect scream. <laughs> oh yeah, he keeps. Classic Loki. I didn't even notice he keeps screaming Loki through the whole, the whole fight. Duplicate Kid Loki tossing Alligator Loki and one of the others, also known as Thor in Loki's get help maneuver. Oh yeah, get help. <laughs> get help. Plastic. The USS Eldritch <laughs> drops into the void. This was a real-life World War II era ship that was believed to be part of a debunked conspiracy theory known as the Philadelphia Experiment, in which people claimed it was given an invisibility shield, and people thought it vanished. Aww. The teams regroup at a barber shop where they roast That's a big conspiracy. creature things. And interestingly, Mobius didn't remember there ever being an alligator Loki. Perhaps another clue that there just could be multiple Mobiuses. Meanwhile, yeah. Loki and Sylvie chat outside. Or it's just an alligator. Hmm, it's not an alligator Loki. Get cold, so Loki must have been conjuring up that blanket just so they could snuggle. Mm -hmm. One of the birds climbs this tank. This is the Chrysler TV-8, a nuclear-powered tank that was designed by Chrysler in the 50s to be deployed the? against the USSR, but thank God was never actually put into production. But maybe this came from a timeline where this did actually <laughs> That looks crazy. Horrible results. In the distance is the Dark Aster, Ronin's ship from the Guardians of oh, the Galaxy. Oh, I didn't... There wow. It also looks like an oil platform. Maybe this is the Deepwater Horizon. So Loki asks Mobius, What will you do at the TV-8? Burn it to the ground. Ground. Thanks for the spark. You're gonna point that out. Uh, call back to Loki's promise oh, wow. all the way back in the first episode. Nope. We're gonna burn this place to the ground. Now on this well, landscape, true. you can see the head of the Living Tribunal. That's the three-headed cosmic judge of all the multiverse. I don't know what timeline what? this head would have come from, but I do like how Loki and Sylvie stand in front of it as they face Eliath, almost as if they are now on the side of justice in this noble fight. And a little later in the scene, there Why is hasn't Eliath eaten that yet? Helicarrier with a Hydra logo. Or did he, he probably just eats the living stuff. Was but he tries to eat Asgard, which is weird. Loki waves his flaming sword to try to distract Elias, but it does not work, making him remember what classic Loki said earlier. The blades are worthless in the face of a Loki sorcery. Mm -hmm. They stunt a magical potential. So Loki realizes he must drop this sword and join Sylvie in her enchantment. But they get some major. Yeah, he's been stunting it himself this whole time. That music. Natalie Holt's music is incredible. She actually said I she recognized used a it. Too voice choir for all the vocals here during the reaction. Notice, right in this moment, it samples Richard Wagner's Norse-inspired Ride of the Valkyries. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. <laughs> That is sick. This epic illusion of Asgard, which at first looks a lot like the Emerald City in the green light there, but I love oh, its kind detail does. down to those. Yeah, why does the Emerald City look so much like it? Edifices. But the illusion fades, and classic Loki gets consumed. Though, notice how he did have some green sorcery glowing in his hands, but then just lets it fade. Yeah, he like Second, dissolves. He laughs with glee, making me wonder if this guy could have pulled an Obi Wan and let himself get taken here so that he could respawn in a new form. Hold that thought. Oh. Sylvie and Loki he, he turned into alive, debris. Oh my gosh. Beyond the void, revealing he did it again. With the lit tower on the rock ring at the end of time. Who will they Pause. find there? That, yeah. That, that makes perfect sense because I was noticing and I even went back in the reaction after if you watch the breakdown. I went back and noticed that he was dissolving. He's like, before the smoke even gets him, he's dissolving into stuff. That's what he did. He turned into debris. I got well, it. Yes, Easy. this series has done a lot to point to Kang the Conqueror. Because, sure, why else would you include Ravona Renslayer and Eliath and Kang Enterprises and all these Chronopolis parallels yeah, it has just to, be. to completely avoid the upcoming... But there's also King Loki in the trailer, so... Dots. But hey, we've been led astray before, right? So you could make the case for other possible big bads, like Doctor Doom, maybe an evilist Loki, maybe some version of Miss Minutes, or hmm. simply... What if we were to just follow the theme of the man behind the curtain, a weaselly old man, the creator of the timekeepers in the comics, he who remains. And yeah. we'll leave you with this, folks. Could be. Notice as they approach that castle, a piece of debris floats up. Now, at first I thought this could have been a ship, but even if it is just debris, classic Loki just confirmed that floating debris can sometimes be a Loki in disguise after he fakes his death. Classic Loki, for some reason, passed up Mobius's offer to leave the void. And then he stayed and showed off an insane level of sorcery. Sorcery that yeah. he spent who knows how long refining and then could have 
faked his death in that moment it looks like it right he's there he's like his this olven where he reveals himself as he who remains an original loki the classic loki and built the timekeeper oh my gosh in order to control it is a big actor with this ultimate it could be whether or not you believe that or if you think it's kang or someone else you gotta admit that truly would be that would be that's, that's a good theory yeah, he's. As we head this I don't know. And another reminder That'd to be sick. This channel by checking out our merch options at NewRockStarsMerch.com. Loki Follow Gator me Polo. On Twitter at EA Voss. Follow and subscribe to New Rock Stars. I'll see you next week for the finale. Thank you, Mr. Eric. Bye. Well, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. By the way, two views. <laughs> I was here early, but 352 likes. Okay. Yeah, I clicked on it right when I got the notification. I was just like, we're reacting to it. Here we go. Um. Well, thank you, New Rock Stars. Thank you, Eric Voss, for the breakdown um so many people pointed out so much of that stuff on twitter there was a lot of hidden stuff this episode i loved it dude i like that theory though classic loki could be the villain behind it all he's been here for so long he said he wanted to stay here he like he didn't go back with the like he seemed scared of Eliath. like he wanted to get out of the void right but then when he had his chance he ended up staying which is kind of weird kid loki also stayed but we didn't see him at the end there but um it is kind of weird that he looks like he turns into debris at the end his cape starts fading and turning into dust as if he's getting even like snapped away kind of by thanos it like just fades into dust um and then the smoke gets him so that's a little weird that doesn't happen to anyone that's on the boat i'm pretty sure because we see everybody on the boat die by oliath and I don't think they fade into dust before the smoke reaches them. I think they just, as soon as the smoke touches them, they turn into skeletons. So he died in a very different way. I'm almost certain he's still alive, but I don't know. He left his crown there. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, go check out New Rockstars. First link in the description. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end and watched my reaction to the breakdown. Um, let me know if even he missed anything. Put it in the comments. Let me know what your favorite episode is of Loki. Comment whatever you want down below, leave a like on the video, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to be notified for any other uploads. Uh, I upload daily, by the way. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video.